selflessness, dedication to duty, and integrity, all the qualities needed to serve a cause larger than oneself.
Joy Cremont, from <laughs> Army and National Guard in 2015 as an engineer platoon leader to the 131st Hor Horizontal Construction Company and has held positions as the Executive Officer for Bravo Company Combat Engineering Combat in the 572nd Brigade Engineer Battalion, the State Security Cooperations Coordinator, the Operations Officer for the Vermont Recruiting and Retention BN, the Commander of Recruit Sustainment Program, and currently serves full-time as a Human Resources Officer for the 572nd Brigade Engineer Battalion of Rutland, Vermont, where she lives. Advances that you all will make in science, 
technology, engineering, math, the humanities, and the values you hold, and the paths that you will take this nation down. Those are the legacy that our nation's veterans have fought and will continue to fight to preserve. The freedom that we so often take for granted has resulted from the contributions and sacrifices of our fellow citizens and veterans, and our relationship with you is symbiotic. Take the time this Veterans Day to reach out. Memorial Day is a time of somber silence, but Veterans Day is a day of triumph. To celebrate the achievement of our veterans and our nation. Whenever America or her interests have been threatened, men and women, both civilians and soldiers from across the great nation, have risen to her defense. Whenever our freedoms have come under assault, we've responded with strength and purpose and resolve. Each of our veterans, along with our families, our fellow countrymen, have sacrificed and served the pact between warrior and society that all of us hold dear. On this Veterans Day, I would ask that you commit to engage with your communities, each other, our fellow citizens, and reflect with pride on the service and accomplishments of our veterans. I am thankful to the veterans that have gone before me to ensure my freedom, and to you for your support. So I wanted to end with a quotation from George Washington, which I think reflects accurately the service of our veterans as well as their relationship between them and the society today. To our veterans, your exertions in the cause of freedom, guided by wisdom and animated by courage, have gained you the love and confidence of your fellow countrymen. We look to you, experienced veterans, and trust that you will still be the guardians of America. He that is a soldier and defends of such a cause needs not a title. His post is a post of honor, and blessed will be his memory. To our veterans, thank you, for our, thank you for your service. And to you all, thank you for your support. Yes, sir. 
served with honor and dignity. They have served in different places in different ways. And sir, they have. They have not only fought our wars, but they have preserved the peace, whether in faraway lands or home stations. Now, I'm not going to read the rest of this speech. I'm going to put my special spin on it. Um, it's a great honor to see all of you here, have you here.